Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that this angle ABC is 15 degrees. And likewise, this another angle BAC is 15 degrees as well. And moreover, this side length uh, BC is 100 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC. And we are not supposed to be using uh, calculators of any kind. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this angle is congruent to this uh, angle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, BC is going to be equal to this side length uh, AC. If this side length is 100, then this uh, AC side is going to be 100 units as well. And now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always uh, equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, in this uh, triangle ABC, if this angle is 15 degrees, uh, this angle is 15 degrees, uh, then this angle uh, ACB is going to be 150 degrees. And since we are not supposed to be using the law of sines, uh, and we are not supposed to be using a uh, law of cosines as well, so therefore we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next step i have constructed uh, this uh, right triangle uh, adc by extending uh, this line bc all the way to point uh, d and then uh, these points a and uh, d are uh, connected and here's our next step let's recall the straight angle property in other words, uh, this whole uh, straight angle is going to be 180 degrees. And we know that this uh, angle is uh, 150 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining angle is going to be 30 degrees. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle ADC. And let's recall the triangle sum theorem once again. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees and since this uh, angle is 30 degrees this angle is 90 degrees so no wonder this angle has got to be 60 degrees so therefore we can see that this is our special uh, 30 60 90 triangle and now let's make an observation we can see 30 degrees is our smallest uh, angle in this uh, given triangle and 90 degrees is our largest uh, angle so therefore we conclude that the side opposite to the smallest angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg and the side opposite to our this uh, largest angle is going to be our longest uh, leg. So therefore in such kind of uh, 30, 60, 90 special triangle the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest uh, leg. If the longest leg is uh, 100 units uh, then the smallest leg is going to be half of that one that is going to be 50 units and this uh, third leg has got to be 50 times the square root of uh, 3 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case, uh, our base is uh, this BC length uh, and the height of this triangle ABC is uh, this uh, AD length. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half times uh, our base is uh, 100 times our height uh, is uh, 50. And here we can see 1 over 2 times 100 is going to give us 50. And 50 times 50 is going to give us 2500. So therefore the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 2500 square units. 
So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 2500 square units. And now let me go ahead and show you the second method uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC. And now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this uh, angle is congruent to this uh, angle. And since uh, this is an isosceles uh, triangle, so therefore this uh, BC side length is going to be equal to this side uh, length uh, AC. If this side length is uh, 100, this side length has got to be 100 units uh, as well. And once again, uh, this angle uh, ACB is 150 degrees. Since the sum of uh, all the, these uh, three angles uh, add up to 180 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times sine of uh, angle uh, C. As you can see in this uh, triangle, these are our side lengths A and uh, B. And C is the angle between these uh, two side lengths. And in our case, our two side lengths are 100 and 100. And the angle between these two side lengths is 150 degrees. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So it's going to be 1 divided by 2 times 100 times 100 times sine of our angle 150 degrees. And please keep in mind that sine of 150 degrees equals to sine of 30 degrees, where these two angles, 150 degrees and 30 degrees, are our supplementary angles. If I call this angle alpha and this angle beta, then the sum of these angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 180 degrees. So no wonder we call them supplementary angles. And we know sine of 30 degrees is 1 divided by 2. If sine of 30 degrees is 1 divided by 2, then sine of 150 degrees is going to be 1 over 2 as well. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, sine of 150 degrees uh, by 1 uh, divided by 2 over here. So therefore, we can simply write this thing 1 divided by 2 times uh, 100 times 100 times uh, 1 uh, divided by 2. And if we simplify the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 2500 uh, square uh, units. So thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 2500 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.